Hey guys, so I crack or close, whichever, um, the door. <sighs> I'm hot. It's hot in here. Um, I turned the heat on because it's been chilly here. Um, it's been, like, the high has been, like, in the 60s, which is really nice. But with the heat on, it's been really hot. But I changed the bed sheets. There's, like, a bunch of random stains on here. Some of them I know are from, like, when I used to use Tide Pods. Um, with it being such a big, bulky comforter, the Tide Pods would not dissolve completely and would get stuck to the comforter. And then I'd stick it through the dryer and then the Tide Pods would dry onto the sheets and get stuck. So I'd have to go in and like with a washcloth and kind of scrape it off. And so I know that there are some stains left over from that. And then there's like this stain that looks like dirt or something. You can't, I don't know if you can tell right there. Um, it looks white on camera, but it's brown. <laughs> I don't think it's poop. Honestly, I don't really know, but I washed it, so regardless of whatever stains around here, it's clean. But I did have this little, like, duvet down here um, that was on this bed. But like I said, it's been getting cooler, and especially at night, it really cools down. So I wanted a comforter back on the bed because I freaking love comforters. Um, one thing that... Um, one thing about me is I don't like quilts. Um, they're not really my favorite. I will use a quilt as like a blanket, as like a sit on the couch and curl up kind of thing. But when it comes to sleeping, I want a comforter. Um, the bathtub is dripping a little bit just because Mr. J likes to sit and drink from the bathtub. So usually when I run a bath to get ready to go to bed, I will leave the cold water tap on just a little bit so he can um, get his drink of water that way because he doesn't like to drink out of the dish for whatever reason. But yeah, I just got to put the pillowcases back on the pillows and then the bed is all nice and clean. I washed all the sheets. I did a lot of cleaning today. Um, I keep pressing buttons that make weird stuff happen. Um, so I did a lot of cleaning today. I hand scrubbed the entire floor in the sunroom and then I mopped the kitchen floor and then I washed all of the dogs bedding um, and their toys and while I was washing their bedding they have I bought them a really nice memory foam bed because Holly was getting so big she outgrew her bed that it's like a medium to large size bed, but I got her the super big, extra large memory foam mattress, not mattress, bed, um, dog bed. And it's pretty expensive. I think it was around 50 bucks or so. And the first time that I washed, so it comes with like an outside cover that you can take off and just wash that instead of having to stick the whole bed in the washing machine. So I took off the cover, washed it, the dogs are inside. I went to go do some other stuff while the laundry was going, came down, and they had ripped apart the mattress, but they had only ripped like one big hole in it, um, and I managed to do some patchwork and kind of sew it up, um, and then put the cover back on it and everything was fine and dandy, and then today I did the same thing. I took off the cover, put it in the wash, um, put it in the dryer, it got to the dryer, before the dogs literally tore it to bits and pieces. I'll put a picture right here of what it looked like. Uh, it was a murder scene. It was terrible. I said, you know what? They don't use this bed anymore anyway because um, they stay outside now a lot since the weather has gotten much nicer. It's less hot outside. It's nice and cool. They can be outside and enjoy the weather um, and not be inside all day because in the summertime, we kept them inside. Um, also, when Holly was a little puppy, we kind of kept them inside for a little bit, um, especially since we didn't have a fence. Once we got the fence put in, they stayed outside a little bit longer, but it, some days were a little bit too hot for them. Um, but now they stay outside most of the day, so they don't really use the bed anyway. Um, so I was like, you know what, screw it, and tossing the bed, throwing it out. So that's what I did today. Um, and then... Tomorrow I have to work. Tomorrow's Thursday. Have to work. 
Um, we're having a paint class tomorrow night, so I have to be there to help with that. And Friday I have to work, Saturday I have to work, Sunday I'm off. Um, but Saturday night we're having a Halloween party at the gallery, which is going to be a lot of fun. I bought some, like, cute little nails. I don't feel the need to go to a salon or go to a nail salon and get nails just because they're expensive and I don't have the time or the money for that so I choose press on nails which I honestly prefer a lot better because they serve the purpose that they need to serve for the time that I need to serve for them to serve that purpose. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, so for Saturday, like I said, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, then Friday, Saturday, so they only have to last a little bit longer. Um, I was just really impatient, I really wanted to put them on, so I was really curious about how they looked. Um, I could have totally waited until Saturday, because they probably would have lasted me longer. So let's hope I don't lose one of these nails. Um, but I put them on today, and hopefully they'll last till Saturday, but they are pressed on nails. But I love press on nails because they're really easy, they're really inexpensive, and then when I want them off, I pop them off and throw them out, and that's that. My nail bed gets a little crusty, you know, with the dry glue and all that, but, you know, I can soak it in acetone for a little bit and kind of help dissolve some of that glue. But, you know, and like I said, they're practical, like, they're cheap, inexpensive, yada yada, and whatever, all of that. But that's what I did. Um, I don't know if you want like a closer look, but I can't remember the brand, um, but these two are obviously plain and nude. I'm pretty sure this one is supposed to go on the pinky, but my pinky is really, really, really tiny, um, so this one fit on the pinky better. Um, but this one, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a sparkly black nail, and it's got three, like, rhinestones on it. This one, um, when you look at it in person, looks kind of like a smoky type of effect, but on camera it just kind of looks like whatever. This is obviously spider webs and then a plain nail, and they are so freaking long. Like for me, like these are ridiculously long nails, and I have no idea what to do with nails these long. So I gotta go. I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how the weekend goes, but I'll see you guys later. Bye. <sighs> Boo. So, hey guys, uh, can you guess who I am? Yes, maybe, maybe not. Um, so tonight is the Halloween party at the gallery and I'm going as a female beetle juice. I'm wearing like my Adidas because I have these shoes that I'm probably going to wear for the party but I don't know if I'm going to keep them on just because they're like ridiculously high heels. Like that's like the size of my freaking face. Like these are super high heels. And I don't want to be walking around um, doing work at the gallery uh, in those heels. So I'm going to wear my Adidas for a little bit um, because i got to go into work at 2. The party doesn't start until 5. Um, so I don't want to be walking around in those all day. So I'm going to wear my Adidas for the time being just so I can be comfortable. Um, and I'm debating if I need to bring a jacket because I'm sure it's going to be very chilly when it gets dark. Um, my teeth surprisingly don't look yellow, but they look gray. Um, probably because of the black lipstick. Also, it took me forever to find a black lipstick. I went to Target. I was going to go to Walgreens to get uh, a black lipstick that I saw there by NYX, but it was kind of out of the way of where I was going, and Target was closer, so I went to Target. They didn't have, like, well, I looked up and down the makeup aisles, did not see any black lipsticks, at least black, like, liquid lipsticks. Um, I checked NYX, I checked the Wet n Wild section, I checked Revlon, like, I checked all of them. They had, like, really dark blues, or really dark purples, or dark browns, but they didn't have, like, a black. Um, so I was going up and down the aisles, and when I was rounding one of the aisles on the end cap, there was, like, a whole Halloween section of, like, Halloween makeup stuff, like, the spiderweb false lashes, the crazy false lashes, and stuff like that, and they had one, one Wet n Wild black liquid lipstick, so that is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Actually, I have it with me because I'm going to take it with me because I know when I start eating, it's going to come off and the ball hole is going to show. So it is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick in the shade Shady Witch. So this is what it looks like. It's got, I mean, it's kind of metallic-y. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like super metallic-y. 
Um, it was also really hard to apply just because really dark shades like blacks are never, are never, you know, one swipe is good. Usually it takes about like five or six swipes to get like a full opaque, um, coverage. But other than that, um, I have another liquid cat suit by Wet n Wild. They stay on pretty well, so I'm not super worried about it rubbing off. I just think if I start eating, then that's when the issue is going to arise. But I did a tutorial on this whole entire makeup look, so if you want to check that out, then, you know, do so. But I don't know if I'm going to post this vlog this weekend or if I'm going to post it after I post the makeup tutorial, but either way, just check my channel. It'll be there because I filmed it as I was getting ready. Um, my eyebrows look super bold. It's because I filled them in with liquid eyeliner um, to get a very dark, bold effect. I used some cream makeup to get some dirt or moss mold. I don't know. Whatever Beetlejuice, his undeadly appearance. Um, to get that, use the Morphe uh, 35P palette to do my eye look, and a little bit of nose contour. I basically followed, hold on, I don't know her name, because I saw it on Pinterest, and, but I basically followed this, like, makeup look, which, by the way, she's so pretty, um, but that's kind of the guideline that I went by to do my makeup, except she doesn't have any lipstick on, and I tried that, but I went through the whole effort of buying the lipstick, so I was like, I'm just gonna put the lipstick on anyway, but you could totally go barefaced, um, as far as, like, lips go. And you'd be fine. Um, as far as the outfit goes, I got this from Target. I'll put everything in the description if you care. I don't know. But I got, not Target. I got everything from Amazon as far as the outfit goes, except for this bralette. I don't know where I got this bralette. I think I got it at, like, Hot Topic, maybe. Um, earrings I bought from the gallery. Um, but this ring is, like, a costume ring, so it's super cheap. I probably got it at Claire's. Um, it doesn't fit, so I have tape wrapped around it, so it'll fit. And I have to put it on my middle finger because it's the only finger it'll fit on. Um, but yeah, so this thing I got from Amazon. It was like, I don't know, $14. Pants I got off of Amazon. They were also inexpensive. So this whole outfit probably cost me about maybe less than 40 bucks. Um, definitely less than 50 I think even less than 40 So definitely inexpensive. Um, and then the rest of it's just makeup. So yeah, but anyway, I'm starving. I went to the gym this morning, so I haven't been to the gym in two days. I know it seems like not a long time, but for me, like, I've been going to the gym every single day. This week I've been super slacked. I've only gone to the gym maybe two or three times this week. Um, so I went to the gym this morning, did a nice workout, and then I came home, and I was gonna eat when I came home, but for whatever reason, I guess with, like, working out and whatever, I didn't, like, feel hungry when I got home, so I guess I kind of forgot that I was going to make breakfast and eat this morning. So instead I went and I started getting ready because I'm one of those people who gets ready super early because I don't like to be late. I'm one of those girls who's like, if I know that I have plans, I am not one of those girls who is getting ready at the last second and is always late because they're doing their makeup. I hate that because I hate feeling rushed and I hate being late. So I always get ready super, super early just because I'm always worried that I'm going to run out of time and I don't want to be rushed. So I started getting ready at like 10.30 this morning. I don't have to be anywhere until 2. But for me, like, I needed that time because I didn't know how long it was going to take. I didn't know if I was going to mess up and have to start all over. I didn't know. So I started getting ready at 10.30. And now it is almost 1 o'clock and I'm hungry because I'm early, I am on time, and I'm hungry because I haven't eaten yet. So I think what I'm going to do to kill some time before I have to go into work is I am going to go get something to eat because we're having snacks and stuff at work anyway, but like I'm hungry now. So I think I'm going to go get something to eat right now so I won't be hungry later. And maybe not even like something heavy. I might just go somewhere and get fries. Although can you imagine me going through the drive-thru? Like can I get like uh, like from Bojangles? Oh, Bojangles fries sound really good right now. I don't know. Um, but can you imagine me pulling up to the drive-thru being like, can I get a number nine? <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm doing right now. It is, like I said, it is 1240. So I'm going to leave, go get some food, stop by the gallery, and uh, go from there. So not stop by the gallery, but go by the gallery because go to the gallery. There we go. Because i got to stay there for work. 
and also for the party. And I hope it's a lot of fun. Also, I don't know if I showed you. I think I did. I showed you my like fake press on nails. If you watch my um makeup look, I'm going to put bloopers at the end of it because I was trying to get this like package of cream paint out. Um, and it was one of those stupid packages that, you know, there's plastic and you peel off the backing, the cardboard backing, and then it's always just like another sheet of like thin paper that you have to like pierce through to actually get to the product. Um, and so I was trying to do that, these stupid fake nails, like, I don't know what it is. It's like some of them stay on really well, but some of them don't. So I was trying to do it with my, my thumb one and it popped off and it hit me straight in the eyeball and it hurt so bad. And I was like, oh my God, am I going to have a black eye? Like aesthetic, but also like, please not. But yeah, so that was exciting, but you'll see that in the bloopers at the end. If you stay to the end or skip to the end, whichever you choose to do. But I don't know how many times I can tell you that I'm hungry, but I'm so hungry. So I'm going to leave right now, go get some food, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it's been a hot minute, um, I know. Um, but, there goes the dogs. Um, I have no excuse other than I've been super busy, which is the same excuse that I've always had. Um, but it is like finals, like getting ready for finals um, and finishing up some school stuff I have like two weeks left so yeah it's been a little crazy a little hectic a little busy um and I just finished editing a video for work so that was fun um so that's gonna go up tomorrow but anyway um oh shoot. Okay. yeah so I I am currently just hanging out right now. Obviously, I have this, like, it's not even a breakout. It's like I started getting a breakout, and then I just picked at it, so now there are just, like, places on my face that just need to heal now. Um, but anyway, so, haven't been up to much since my last clip. It is November 2nd. 12th today um i don't even know when i started this vlog but right now it's november 12th micah's birthday is on wednesday um so i got him he doesn't watch my vlogs he doesn't watch any of my videos it's fine he's not even subscribed to my channel but it's fine um but excuse me but his birthday is on wednesday and i already bought him his birthday presents just because it was something that he wanted and kind of needed. Um, I bought him a jacket and some gloves for his motorcycle. Um, so that has already been taken care of. We got that last weekend, I believe. Um, but it's always nice to like get something like on your birthday. You know, it's like, I don't know. But his birthday's on a Wednesday, which really sucks because usually like today, um, I didn't have to go to my sociology class because we're not doing anything right now. We're just doing like presentations and so it's not really important for me to be there. Um, so I, um, so I came home today and I was able to be with Micah for a little bit before he had to go to work and I'm off tomorrow, but I have to go back to school on Wednesday and I have to stay all day, which is super gross because I have to do my presentation on Wednesday, which sucks, but, um, yeah, so I can't come home um, before he leaves for work. Why does it look like I have a black eye? I don't know. Um, but I can't come home before he leaves for work, so I won't be able to like wish him a happy birthday because he gets home super late and I won't be up. Um, I'll probably say happy birthday when he comes to bed because I usually wake up um, when he gets in bed. But I went ahead and today I went to the Cheesecake Factory and I got... Um, some cheesecake for him because that's like his favorite thing. He doesn't like normal cakes. He likes cheesecakes. So I went to Cheesecake Factory, got the fresh strawberry cheesecake, which is his favorite, and then the lemon raspberry, which is one that he really likes as well, and drove all the way home and, you know, hid them in the fridge so he can't find them, and then I'll leave him a note tomorrow night after he leaves for work. Um... To like go check in the fridge because when he comes home from work it'll already be his birthday um so i'll leave him a note and i'll probably decorate tomorrow too um 
And plus, it's not like I'm going to get this video up before his birthday anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but I'm going to decorate um, after he leaves for work, and then leave him a note saying to go look in the fridge, and then I'll take the stuff and put it in like plain sight in the fridge. So that way he will open the fridge and he will find his cheesecake there. So yeah, so that's my plan for his birthday. I'm just looking at all this like freaking sores on my face. It looks like I'm a fucking heroin addict. Um, I'm not. But these like three, well, these two places have been on my face for like two weeks now. And they haven't healed just because I pick at them. Um, this one has been on my face for couple of days maybe like three or four days um it was like just acne and then of course i picked at it so now it's a freaking just place on my face and then this one is also acne again i also picked at it <laughs> because i'm terrible and i don't take care of my skin uh, and then this one i used to have two places right there and over here i picked at that one but eventually healed and then this one hasn't healed yet so i've just picked at it and uh yeah so that's just that's just life for me but anyway um decorated the gallery on yesterday on sunday um for the holidays it looks really nice i'm really happy with it um it's really cool and my video is being processed or being converted to an mp4 um so I can upload it to YouTube, but yeah, I just finished editing that video. It took a couple of days. Oh, it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. It took maybe like three hours to edit, which is still a long time. Um, but I usually can just kind of sit down and get through it, but I didn't. So I just kind of split it up in between like three days. So why am I, I don't know, I feel like I'm dying right now. <clears throat> it has been so cold, and it's going to be so rainy this week. Right now, it's like pouring rain outside. I feel so bad because usually, like, usually I know when it's pouring rain outside because I can hear it, but I don't know. I just, like, wasn't paying attention, so I went ahead and fed the dogs, and then I realized after I fed them that I can't let them outside because it's literally pouring down rain. So I'm just going to have to deal with whatever mess they decide to make, um, since it's literally like pouring rain and it's freezing ass cold outside so yeah I should have gotten some puppy pads um I might do that tomorrow because I gotta go out and run some errands anyway but yeah so that's what I'm up to right now is I'm waiting for this video to finish converting so then I can upload it to YouTube um and I'm on the wrong channel I gotta switch YouTube accounts yeah. um but yeah, so, I don't know. Oh, I started decorating for Christmas. I know that's going to trigger, like, so many people because it's not even Halloween or not even Thanksgiving yet. And the thing is, it's like, I used to be one of those people that I would literally just wait until the day after Thanksgiving or even, like, Thanksgiving night. I would wait um, to start decorating for Christmas. But I don't know what it is. I think it's just because, like, I really, really love Christmas. Um, I think Christmas is my favorite holiday. I think thanks or Halloween is my second favorite holiday, and then Thanksgiving um, is my third favorite holiday in terms of like the season, I guess. But I lighting is terrible over there. We're just gonna stay over here. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I started decorating early just because. Christmas makes me feel happy and like lately I've just been in this like funk of like it's not like I'm not happy it's just I've been in a funk of like feeling gross you know like feeling like uh oh, this is gross life is gross like everything is gross school is gross work is gross like I don't know I've just been in this funk of like not feeling in a good mood but not like I'm not like miserable you know, I'm not like, woe is me. I'm just like, blah. So I thought decorating for Christmas would help kind of lighten my spirits. So. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. There's someone getting arrested. Someone's getting arrested. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
fish what you do there are so many cop cars here right now i'm literally trying to go to target and there's like a thousand cop cars bish what you do what did you do did you steal you stealing from five below really can i go you okay no one's going i guess i'm going okay damn damn bish is getting arrested in the fucking target parking lot also, I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging. If you can tell, I'm talking a little weird. That's because I have the most painful canker sore in my mouth. And it's been there for like the past two weeks. And I think I'm going to die. You want to look at it? It's going to be real gross. You ready? Uh, it hurts so bad. It's because I fucking bit my lip while I was eating. Fucking fat ass. And then it like turned into the worst canker sore. Anyway. I gotta go to Target because I gotta get some shit. So, uh, yeah, that was eventful. Okay, so that was eventful. Um, I had it in my brain that I needed to go to Target for something, and I went into Target and roamed around Target for a good, like, half hour, and I couldn't remember what I needed. Also, can you tell how swollen my lip is because of that canker sore? Oh, it hurts so bad. It's the worst one I've had in a very, very long time. Because the placing of it is just really, really not fun. So, it makes it hard to heal because it rubs against my teeth when I talk. Uh, bad day. But, So, I ended up going into Target for nothing that I needed. This lady behind me is probably watching me be weird. It's fine. And I ended up roaming around Target for a good half hour. And I ended up getting shit that I don't need. Um, well, kind of. I ended up getting a new mop. Because I don't like the mop that we have because it's too big. And then I got the dogs some Christmas sweaters. Which I didn't need. But they were like $10. So, uh, it's so painful. So yeah, that's why I haven't been vlogging a lot, because as you can tell, I can't really talk that well, and it also hurts to talk. Um, but I do have a vlog that I gotta get up anyway, I just haven't had time to edit it, because it's like finals right now, and uh, it's been stressful with school. I just turned in oh, like a like six-page research paper last night, um, so that was fun. Oh, I also got a wide-angle lens for my camera because I need, um, I'm going to start doing some real estate photography, and that poor man, his gas tank and the nozzle that goes over the gas tank is completely out. Or lady. Should I tell her? I should tell her. Yeah. I wonder if she knows. Mm. Alright, car in front of me. Pull up so I can let this little old lady know that her thing is off. Okay, hold on. Okay, that failed. I like honked at her like three times and she didn't look at me and now everyone around me is like, what the fuck is she doing? But like, usually I don't tell people that like their gas tank is open because we have like a very similar type of gas tank where it's not like a it's like a door um and you open the door and then to get into your gas tank there's like a nozzle that you have to or like a cap that you have to twist off um and usually if just the door is open i don't tell them because like gas can't come out because the nozzle is still on there it's like an extra safety feature but her gas tank door was open and also the nozzle that covers where you put the gas in was also out so i pulled up next to her and i waved my hand at her and i honked at her like three times and she just like completely ignored me i tried i tried to be a good citizen it failed but whatever i'm going to chick-fil-a because i'm so hungry and we don't really have any food in the house so that's where i'm going right now it's why i fucking turn signal on and it's so obnoxious so i'm gonna turn it off um but yeah, so when I get home, I've got a slew of things I gotta do. I gotta clean, which is like the biggest thing that I gotta do. And also I'm gonna try out my new wide angle lens. And I looked on Best Buy, so I am making, I'm gonna say, I'm not making like terrible money as like a 20 year old who's working in an art gallery, you know? 
Um, but I'm not making enough to make me sustain living comfortably. If I was making, I would say maybe like $200 more, then I think I would be able to live pretty comfortably, but I'm not. Um, and so I am taking up a real estate photography job to hopefully, um, compensate for that missing money, I guess. And so I needed a wide angle lens <clears throat> to obviously do real estate photography because that is like the key. It's like an absolute necessity to have a wide ang angle lens um, to do photos for real estate. I mean, that's just, that's just the truth of it. Um, and so I looked on the Best Buy website before I went to Best Buy to get a general price range idea because I wasn't 100% sure how much it was going to cost because I do know that camera lenses can be very, very, very expensive. Um, your typical like standard like 25 millimeter lens is going to be like around $150 to $200. Um, but depending on the type of lens and the length of the lens, it can get up to like over a thousand dollars just for the lens itself. So the camera that I film on and the camera that I use is a Canon Rebel T6i series and I like it. It's a very nice camera. Um, but I looked on Best Buy and all I searched for was Canon wide angle lens. It's a lady coming. I hope she does it. I think I'm weird for talking to myself in my car. Um, but I looked on the Best Buy website and it only pulled up two camera lenses and one was a kit that I didn't need, which was like 800 some dollars. And then the other one was a lens that was like $780, which was a lot. So they have finance options at Best Buy. Um, you're just gonna have to bear with me with my awkward talking because it hurts. So, they have um, finance options to pay like 30 some dollars every month for like 18 months and shit like that. So that was my decision. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go there, see what they have, um, and I'm going to just finance it if that's the cheapest option I have. So I went to Best Buy, took fucking forever for someone to help me. Um, cause usually when I go look at their camera section, I get hackled like every five minutes. Like, do you need help? Do you know what you're looking for? Do you need help? And I'm like, please leave me alone. I'm just looking. But the one time that I go in to actually buy something, like no one helped me. <laughs> so I had to actually go and find someone to come and help me. And they looked up on their system. I told them, hey, I'm doing some real estate photography. Um, I need a wide angle lens. I told them what kind of camera I had. They looked it up in their system and they found me a wide angle lens. It was like the only one that they had in stock. And it was like 200 some dollars. And I was like, heck yeah. So I went ahead and got it. Cause like that was so much less expensive than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm really happy about that. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm really excited about it. It's in this like sketchy looking Best Buy bag. Um, but I'm so excited, so I'm going to try it out, see how it goes. It's 18, it's 10 to 18 millimeters, which is perfect size. I'm really excited, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't start the job until a couple of weeks just because it's a condo. And so usually with condominiums and with apartments, once someone moves out, they bring in people to, you know, repaint the walls, redo the carpet if need be, you know, clean everything up and all of that. And then they, you know, then it's ready basically. So I think that's, so that's what I'm waiting on right now is for them to finish setting everything up and cleaning everything and getting everything ready. What is that noise? That's obnoxious. Okay. Okay, now it stopped. Um, 
And so that's what I'm waiting for. Then once they finish and once it's all ready, then I can go and look at it and then I can go and photograph it. So I've never done anything like this. I usually just do stills. I do portraits of people and I do landscape photography and I do like just still life photography, um, which I guess is like kind of like real estate photography, but real estate photography is like a whole nother, whole nother level. So I think what I'm gonna do between now and waiting until my gig is, hold on, I gotta order food. Thank you for choosing Chick-fil-A. My name is Molly. How may I serve you? Hi, can I get a number 312 count meal? I'm sorry, what was that, ma'am? Can I get a number 312 count meal? The 12 count meal, yes, ma'am. What would you like to drink? Can I get a uh, sweet tea? I'm sorry, what was that? A sweet tea. Yes, ma'am. Any sauces? A uh, barbecue. Uh, barbecue. Okay, anything else today? That's all. Your total is 832. Pleasure to serve you at the window. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, so yeah, so in between now, um, and waiting till I go and actually photograph the place, I am going to clean my house and practice on my home. Cause that's the fun thing or the good thing, I guess, about doing like real estate photography is like, if you live in a house or if you live in a condo, you can just practice there. Um, and so I think that's what I'm going to do is just practice in my own house. And also it would be really nice to have like nice photos of my house, uh, cause we don't have like nice photos of the inside of our house because we just don't, you know, we have nice photos of what the house looked like before we bought it when it was on the market. Um, but we don't have nice photos of what it looks like now. So that might be nice to have and print and give to like family members who like haven't seen our house yet. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do or what I'm going to do and I'm looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, my mouth really hurts, so I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to stop vlogging, and I'll talk to you guys maybe when I get home.